It's Monday, May 4th, and here's some of the news beyond the headlines. The Italian Coast Guard and Navy plucked more than 4,000 migrants from waters off the coast of Libya over the weekend. At least 10 bodies were retrieved in the rescue operation. Authorities say people smugglers are taking advantage of better weather and calmer seas. The EU has agreed to triple its funding of the Border Patrol mission Triton, after nearly 900 migrants drowned in the Mediterranean two weeks ago. But there's still disagreement among leaders on what to do about the uncontrollable stream of people fleeing the Middle East and Africa. The Nigerian army says around 300 women and girls are receiving medical care and shelter days after being freed from Boko Haram. Nearly 700 people have reportedly been rescued from the group's strongholds in the last week, as military operations aim to recapture territory from the insurgents. Officials don't believe any of the girls were among those abducted at a school in Chibok last spring. The airstrikes targeting rebels in Yemen have caused frequent power cuts and that's put hundreds with kidney failure at risk of death. Some 700 dialysis patients in Hudaydah are facing treatment delays, and they fear the situation isn't likely to resolve itself soon. Medical workers can't turn the generator on because they don't have any fuel. And as the Saudi-led campaign against the Houthi rebels continues, residents across the country are finding it increasingly difficult to secure enough food and water to survive. Remnants of World War II are still lurking in German soil 70 years on. Munitions experts detonate or defuse more than 2,000 tons of explosives across the country every year. Many bombs are discovered by city planners, construction workers, or residents digging around in their gardens. Farmers have come across some weighing up to 4,000 pounds. The bombs cause almost weekly evacuations and have killed a number of people. British and American planes dropped around 1.5 million tons of bombs on Germany during the conflict. Officials estimate up to 15 percent of them failed to explode and are buried some 20 feet underground. Check out the Vice News YouTube channel for more original reporting and documentaries from around the world.